Sounds like a reasonable assessment. <laughs> Dinosaur spaceship? Uh, things being shot at. <laughs> I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. I think he's allowed to kill bad guys. Not kill bad guys, but... Because yeah, the doctor, all the doctors have been quite... Yes, but never in cold blood. Well, I don't know. I mean, the first, the first doctor, he was going to... In the very first story, before he's mellowed by his human companions, it's supposed to be an, an unsettling scene. Will this man actually crush the caveman's skull? If that had appeared under Patrick Trenton, it would have been considerably more disturbing. Because by that point, the Doctor has evolved as a character, he's softened, he's no longer that anti-hero. That even Hartnell doesn't remain that aggressive for long. It was perfect, there was plot holes left, right, and centre, but I really enjoyed it. And thank you, John. <laughs> and more importantly, everyone's been like, oh, the doctor murdered someone. But in my opinion, I think it's an interesting progression for the character. And I yes, but that. you're a prick. <laughs> <laughs> It could, it could be, an, it could be an important thing. You, you could argue that in attempting to perhaps reset the show, and trying to put the doctor back to someone that is actually supposed to be. Maybe, maybe the fact that Jen, maybe Jen and Louise Coleman will be and mellowing back up again. And it's part of a subtle, oh, a it's subtle the exposure to Amy Pond has turned him into a sociopath. <laughs> Would do, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, yes. Yes. Um, and I, I feel possibly there is a, a tad. I, I don't want people to, to misinterpret my opinion of the episode as being entirely negative. I thought Mark Williams was fantastic. The story itself makes a great deal of sense. Uh, and I love the inclusion of the Silurians as the reason for the dinosaurs in the spaceship. So it's not all bad. <laughs> Thank you. 